Bum. Hey, kia ora. Helen Brown here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're having a super fantastic, sparkling, fun Friday. Yes. Oh, I am so excited today. Um, I'm on day five of my challenge, of my health challenge. And um, it's a very productive day so far. This is why it's taken me. Oops, dirty screen. Oh, Got to get my cloth out and clean it. Um, it's been a very productive day so far. This is why I'm on so late this morning. But I had to um, also share this because it's Fun Friday. And I just finished reading chapter two because I, um, on my health challenge, part of our health challenge, it's mind, body, and soul. So part of the health challenge is that we have to read ten, we have to read ten pages out of a self development book of our choosing. So I am rereading um, Gabrielle uh, Gabrielle Bernstein's Super Attractor. It is awesome. I'm reading ten. Although today I had to do twelve because there was only two pages left in the chapter when I got to the tenth page. But this chapter chapter two was all about it's good to feel good and i was like "Ooh, just to be good now i've had this I mean, i've read this book before and i'm trying to find this little passage here um the problem is i have too many bookmarks and i have too many but the thing that stuck out with me there's two things that stuck out with me in this book today as i was reading it the first one was is that um that you have to make feeling good a priority. It is like the highest priority you have is making you feel good. It's doing your gratitudes every day, you know, waking up with a grateful heart, waking up and saying today is going to be fun. It is setting that intention. It is all that stuff. It is doing the meditations that put you in the right frame of mind to have a fun filled day. And so that you feel good because when you feel good, all sorts of good things that, you know, you're putting out those feel good vibes and they're coming back at you, coming back at you. It's a, um, but they say that you make feeling good a priority the same way you make exercise or family a priority. But this has to be the highest part. It is self-care first. Golden rule of all caregivers is take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Take care of yourself first. And it should be scheduled into your calendar every day to have a feel-good moment. And that feel-good moment could be um, could be something doing something something as simple as meditating. It could be um, it's just getting into that feel-good vibe, acknowledging the feelings that are going through you at the time. But there was one sentence in this chapter that leapt out at me, and I was oh my gosh, it made me feel so good because it felt like I was getting I was getting it felt like it was directed directly at me. That's how I felt when I read this is that this was a personal message for me. And the sentence says, darkness cannot coexist in your light, so keep shining. And all I could think of was sparkles. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Super fantastic and sparkling. And, and then I wrote next to it in the, in the margin here, I wrote sparkle on, sparkle on. So we are sparkling on. We're making every day super fantastic and sparkling. Um, and it's giving us a good vibe for the day and I was super excited to share this with um, the people that are in the health challenge with me this morning and saying that I'm going to make my sparkling dash overflow with sparkles and if you don't know what your dash is it is that dash that line is that is between when you were born and when you pass away pass from this existence to the next one whatever you believe you die um but, you know it's a dirt nap time um <laughs> but it um so that dash is that piece between when you were born to when you die is the dash. And it's how full is your dash. My dash, my goal now is that when my dash um, has its end date on it, that that dash will be overflowing with sparkles. That's my goal, is to spread sparkles as far and wide as possible to help people to feel good each, each and every day. Um, oh, this purple and red looks really good together. Hmm. I didn't notice that <laughs> so, just things that pop into my head but my goal is to spread sparkles so much um just spread, spread the joy and the happiness and the fun and um spread it so much that even when i pass away this sparkles are still overflowing out of that dash it is to be an everlasting fountain of sparkles coming out of my dash so that is my goal now <laughs> And then another sentence that stuck out to me in this is, uh, well, it said feeling good every day is my highest priority. Make it your priority to feel good every day. When you start feeling good, I've got a friend of mine, um, um, Kelly, 
and she does um, finding the joy and she's been doing it now for way longer than I have been doing Facebook lives because she's up to a thousand and something. Hang on, I'm going to go find out now. Now I have to find out so I can give you the exact number. Um, she has, she does this, she's been going longer than I have. Well, she does a post every day. I've done the live every day, but she is. So Kelly to garden has been doing. She's been doing finding joy in the journey every day for 1,559 days. Isn't that cool? Tomorrow will be 1,500. Oh, today is actually going to be 1,560. But she has been posting the, the finding joy in the journey for 1,559 days. I don't see today's one on there yet, but it will be um, because I know she will. Actually, actually, yesterday was 60. Oh. But she's posted 1,559 of these finding joy in the journey. And I love reading them every day because they give me a bit of spark to the day and everything else. So she's been going a lot longer than I have because 1,096 is three years. Um, so she's been, she's on year five. Yeah, because they had 365 to 1,006. Yeah, so she's in. The, so she's already started year five. So she's done four full years of these finding joy in the journey. So, um, you know, that's that's huge. Congratulations to her on that. But it's helping her. So you know, you don't have to go do something like that. You don't have to do a Facebook live every day. Just find some way every day at the beginning. So you're setting the intention for the day to find that joy in your day. Go out there, and as you're going through the day, even if bad things are happening. Find a way to turn it around. Um, you know, they say you should be grateful in all situations. And people go, oh, but what if I'm in the middle of, uh, you know, stuck in an emergency room, been in a bad accident? I said, then find joy on the journey that you've got the medical staff there to help you. And she's like, oh. I said, well, aren't you grateful that they are there to help? And she's like, yeah. I said, well, there you go then. <laughs> My gratitude, when the day that Brad passed away, when he passed away, I was grateful. You know, my heart was breaking, but I was also grateful that um, for the time that we had had together, and the, but I was most grateful for the fact that he was now free. He was free from that disease. He was free from the broken body he was living in. Um, so I was, you know, I was grateful in that moment um, for the fact that he was free and that he is no longer in pain. Yes, my heart was breaking, but I was also grateful for the um, for the time that we had spent together as well. For the time, you know, for the for the time that we were married, um, the time we had together before we got married, you know, I was grateful for every moment that we got to spend it, the good and the bad, the good and the bad, because they all make up the picture. You all learn and grow. You even learn and grow during bad times as well. So you always got to find the gratitude in it. Um, and I know it for some people it is a struggle, and I struggle with it too. When I have a bad day, I'm sort of like, how am I supposed to find the joy in this? Um, and then I'm sort of like, Helen, get off it. <laughs> And I actually repeat that, and I actually say to myself, I'll go look in the mirror, and that's a hard thing. You'll look yourself eye to eye in the mirror. It is very hard to do. Look at yourself, look at yourself eyeball to eyeball in the mirror and tell yourself stuff. And if I'm feeling down and I'm, I just want to like, what do I have this? I'm so like, no, we've got to get off this and get moving. Get back to, get back to, to center. You can have like five minutes and then we're off it. Um, so I give myself time limits as well. <laughs> I learned that one too, is give yourself, if you want to feel down and have a pity party, give yourself, okay, we can have a pity party for five minutes, then we're done. And then I go into the bathroom and I look myself in the eyes and I sit around and say, it is, a, no matter what happens, today is always super fantastic and sparkling. Be grateful for that. Um, and I'm so like, okay. <laughs> and then I'm off back to my getting out of that funk. Yes, it can take a few minutes, but I'm off it. I'm now back into the mindset of being super fantastic and sparkling, going out there, having fun, helping other people, serving other people, doing my, just doing my thing. So that's it for me for, for now. Go out, have a super fantastic, sparkling, fun day. Go find your fun. Go find your joy um, for the day and, um, and rejoice in it and embrace it. And uh, I don't know what to do. I got here this morning. <laughs> I sat down here this morning to my quiet time and I suddenly just went, good morning. 
couldn't yell too loud because it was 5.30 in the morning. Um, and we have quiet time here at the park from 7 a.m. from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. So I didn't want to yell too loud to disturb the neighbors. But anyway, go out and have a super fantastic sparkling fun day. Enjoy the day. Find your joy. Get your plans in place for the weekend. I think there's some game thing on this weekend. Well, I know the Olympics are on, but I think there's some other big game thingy on this weekend too. So if you're watching that, enjoy that. If not, it don't matter. Um, I won't be watching. No, I'm not watching because I've got no way to watch it. So that's fine with me. Um, I got more important. I, I was just going to upset some sport people. I have more important things to do. I just don't get the game. I just... Brad sat there and he loved it and I would sit there next time just to spend time with him and I would read most of it. I'd look up when they were actually playing because um, it was my thing. How is it that it takes three hours to play an, an hour long game that doesn't actually, when you don't actually play it for an hour, when you put the actual play time, I mean Brad videotaped a game one time and we watched it and he just zoomed through all the talking, all the things and just watched the actual play and I think it was like like 30 minutes of actual play time and I'm sort of like and they make this go for three hours um, <laughs> yeah I'm used to used to other sports that um you're on the field the whole time none of this bumming around you get in there you play the game you get out and you're over and done within 90 minutes that includes a 10 minute half time so um, <laughs> 90 minutes over and done with. But anyway, I'm out of here. Oh, it must be getting warm. My face is flushing up. It's not the reflection of the red. Although it could be that. But there's meant to be like 80 degrees today. So I've got all the doors and windows open. And the awning is out. And it's the awning's not even moving, which means there's not even a breeze. And Zephy is basking in the sun up on the dashboard. She is in her joy right now. Anyway, go have a super fantastic sparkling fun Friday and we'll catch you guys back here later on this evening. Hey, Conora.